Step back to 1633, a pivotal moment in the history of science and religion, when Galileo Galilei, the father of modern observational astronomy, stood trial before the Roman Inquisition. This trial marked a significant clash between emerging scientific discoveries and the doctrines of the Catholic Church. Galileo's advocacy for the Copernican system, which posited that the Earth orbits the Sun, challenged the geocentric views long held by the Church, which placed Earth at the universe's center. His support for this heliocentric theory brought him into direct conflict with Church doctrines, a dangerous position during the Inquisition. The confrontation escalated when Galileo published Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems in 1632, a work that seemingly ridiculed the Pope, who had previously been sympathetic to him. This publication led to his summons to Rome for a trial that would become infamous in the annals of history. During the trial, Galileo was found vehemently suspect of heresy and was forced to recant his views under threat of torture. His writings on heliocentrism were banned, and he was sentenced to house arrest, where he remained for the rest of his life. Despite his recantation, legend holds that Galileo still muttered the rebellious phrase, and yet it moves, referring to the Earth's motion around the Sun, a statement of defiance that has echoed through centuries as a symbol of scientific integrity in the face of dogmatism. Galileo's trial and his subsequent sentencing had profound implications for the relationship between science and religion. It highlighted the tensions between the pursuit of knowledge and the power of religious authority, a dynamic that continues to shape dialogues in science and ethics.